This is the sales process for my company, Grumo Media. A lot of companies are gonna have a similar process or variation of this process, but I wanna share with you how I, I do it exactly. This is gonna give you some insights in, into the inner workings of Grumo Media sales process. All right, so everything starts with a lead coming in. A lead comes in. Basically, a lead is somebody that arrived to our website, likes what they see, they want to get in touch with us to ask about a video, and then they fill in a form, and I get an, I get an email, or the salesperson gets an email uh, asking information about you know, what it takes to create one of these videos, how much it costs, or whatever, right? So then, the first thing we do before we reach back, and this is very typical on the sales process, we research this person. Who is this person? Is it somebody that just came out of high school and has no money? Is it a person that comes from a big corporation? He's a marketing manager in a big department within Microsoft? This makes a big difference on how do you respond. You have to qualify this person. So what do you do? You research them. Then once you research them, you schedule the call. If they reply, well, then you have a sales call where you try to ex answer any questions they have, talk about the benefits of your product, and try to close the lead. Uh, by sending them a contract. We send them a contract. This is our animation contract for the amount of money or the rate of animation that they agreed after the sales call. If they sign the contract, well, we have a sale. We sold a video. Now, so there's a bunch of different steps here that at certain points, you may get a response or not. And this is kind of like the funnel within the funnel. <laughs> so, at any point within this step, you may lose that lead because for all kinds of reasons. They find somebody else, they cancel the project, they get sick, they go on holidays, the decision maker is not available, all kinds of things can happen. So what we have to do is follow up. So you can see here, if you don't get a response at any of these points, what do you do? You follow up. You follow up at, you know, two days, three days a week, you know, uh, after that event and, you know, follow up three, four times. After, if after the fourth time you don't get any response, well, you stop following up. You can see here that you, you get enough volume of leads. This can get really tricky to, to track. And let's say you had 10 leads last week and you're in different processes of this funnel, this sales funnel, and you, you forgot to, I mean, you don't want to forget to follow up because you may lose business so what you do uh, is track it, and you track it using a CRM system, Customer Relation Management System, that allows you to track the state of every single lead. Now, uh, we're gonna talk about all the software and tools I use for each of these steps in my business and other recommendations. So, for for the lead coming in, uh, I use WordPress. My site is, is uh, as I showed you before on on a previous chapter, it's, 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 run, it's run on WordPress. Then they fill in a contact form, which I'm using the plugin Contact Form 7. It's a very popular plugin. That also automatically saves that email from the person that is reaching out to us to my email list under the, I, I have, you can create different lists. So this list is leads, it's called the leads list. And I also create, um, there's another plugin called CFDB, Contact Form Database, which allows me to save those email addresses also in a database within my WordPress site, just as a backup, because your email list, your contact list, your lead list is is basically the core of your business. So you, you want to make sure that it's backed up. Then to do research, well, you have Google. Type their email address or, uh, you know, their name, and most likely if they, they have any web presence, they'll show up. Now, if you, what I really recommend also is use a combination of tools. You can use a plugin, a free, a free plugin by, uh, uh, now owned by LinkedIn. It's called Rap Rapportive. You, you can uh, run it within Gmail, and when you hover over the email address of anybody that writes to you, it will show on the right column all kinds of information about them, typically their LinkedIn page. And um, this is very useful information because once you see their LinkedIn page, you can see how many contacts they have, 
where do they work, how big their company is, a lot of great information to profile this individual before you do the sales call. Now for the sales call, you can just schedule it through email or you know if you have enough if you want to make it simpler you can use a tool like Calendly where they get to select a time available in your calendar to to set up a call and you know I've been using this for the last two months and it works great you just say you just say to Calendly, Calendly uh, which hours of the day you have available and people can just Select it. It's synchronized with your Google Calendar as well, so you know you don't have to replicate both places. And it sends you a notification saying, "Hey, somebody, so and so wants to talk to you this day." And there you go. It's it's ready. Then for the sales call, I, I we've been using Skype since the beginning. Uh, I always give them my Skype um, nickname, which is Grumo Media, and then the number because you also can buy a, a, a landline number through Skype which is really useful because it doesn't matter where you're in the world, you only have that one number. In fact, right now I'm in Spain and I'm using a number from, from Palo Alto, California. And a lot of people are like, oh, are you, are you nearby? Because a lot of our, our clients are from, from Silicon Valley. I'm like, actually, no, I'm, now I'm in Madrid or in Vancouver. Uh, but, you know, it's just you have that number in case they want to do a conference call, calling you to a landline. And you can do that through Skype. I think it costs about $70 a year. Uh, Grasshopper is another alternative. It allows you to have several landlines, uh, but it's all through um, it's a web-based interface that basically redirects redirect as many landlines as you want. And you can have extensions to like cell numbers, to your Skype number or whatever. Also allows you to record the conversations as well. Uh, it's very affordable. I used to use it a lot. Uh, well, not a lot. In fact, I stopped using it because I don't have enough uh, number of leads to really justify having multiple landlines. I just need one number, so which is my number, the one that goes to Skype. But if you have several people that are taking in calls, it, it, it looks professional to have a consistent number and then extensions for maybe uh, uh, sales, support, customer service and you can set all those numbers up within Grasshopper. Uh, WordPress, same thing uh, as my website. I, I, the thing about contracts is that they're a pain in the arse because the traditional way is that they send you a contract, you have to print it, you have to sign it, you have to scan it, and you have to send it back. It's just a really painful process. Uh, so what I did, I created my own solution. Basically, I created a protected page within WordPress and then it has a Google form at the, at the bottom. And then whenever somebody uh, fills in that Google form, then I get an email saying, hey, this person has signed the contract. They get a copy of the contract with all the payment details as well. It really simplifies, simplifies the process for me. Uh, but if sometimes, especially bigger clients, they want us to sign their contract, then we have to do it the old fashioned way. And uh, they usually send us a PDF, which we have to sign. And you can do this also online without having to print anything. There's, there are tools like uh, HelloSign that allows you to upload a PDF and sign, sign it digitally online. You can, up, you can scan your signature and you can actually put your signature in that PDF file and then send it, send it uh, via email without having to print it, which is the most painful part of the process. What's next? Uh, the CRM system, crucial to track all of these steps. Uh, in my case, I just use Google Sheets. I've tried a bunch of other uh, CRM tools and really, because my business is so simple, I think, uh, and it really, it, you know, it, the amount of leads have never really been hard to track uh, m somewhat manually, so I use Google Sheets and it's never been an issue. Now, if you start getting enough leads, then I recommend you use a tool. Usually you have to pay for them, but one of them is Hub, HubSpot CRM, which by the way, this one in particular is free uh, right now. And I'm, you know, today is uh, August, we're in August, 2015. So it may not be free when you get it. But anyways, one of the most popular um, CRM tools out there is Sales, Salesforce. And uh, they, they really, they're quite complex, to be honest, 
but uh, they allow you to track the status of your your leads from the moment that they come in all the way to like you know how how close they're to buy etc etc and also they they track all your email communications just just to make sure you remember everything you talked about to me Google Sheets and, and Gmail is fantastic it's all I need because Whenever the lead comes in, I get an email notification, and then if I want to know what we've talked about, I just search for that for that email address, and I can see all the uh, all the conversations that we had before. And uh, it's not super scalable, but I've been running my business without without a single issue for the last five years using this system. And also, the another another advantage is that it's free. Um, also, there's an, uh, a tool called Sidekick, which I've been using recently. It integrates with Gmail, and what it allows you to do is, well, it allows you to schedule um, replies or emails. So let's say you get somebody uh, at any states. Let's say that you ask them to you know, let's set up a sales call and they don't reply to you. And I'm like, okay, well, I should follow up maybe three days from now. So because I don't want to forget this, I could do uh, two things. I could set up a reminder on Google Calendar and, and, and the reminder could say, okay, uh, call this person in three days or Psychic allows you to write an email and then schedule it to be sent in three days. It's a, it's a, it's another option. It also integrates with HubSpot CRM, so you can say track all these email conversations from now on into uh, Hub, HubSpot CRM, and um, it's free up to like two hundred mm, notifications a month or something like that. Then uh, follow up, uh, like I say, I use Google Calendar. To me, it's very simple. I just go there, click, and to them, it, it's so simple. Uh, that it, I use it all the time and it sends me a notification reminds me that uh, I have a call and um, the next step this is the whole sales process in, 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 in a shot the next step is understanding what happens at the most crucial moment of the whole sales process which is the sales call this is where you're actually doing the face-to-face the -face or phone-to-phone -phone or Skype-to-Skype selling process and it has to be in a structure uh, for that sales calls for the sales calls in order to maximize that maximize the amount of times that you can close somebody that that came as a lead into somebody that buys whatever you're selling so let's go and see it hey did you enjoy this video if you want to see more like this just subscribe here if you want a free gift click here yeah which one is going to be the one you click?